Before we begin with the instructions of the software, I want to show you how you can get your log key for the software. It's inside the folder you downloaded, in this PDF file. Please open this PDF file first, and follow the instructions inside in order to receive your unlock code. OK, so let's begin. I wanted to make this short instructional video in order to go over all the functions of the software. So this is the software layout, and as you can see, this is really simple software, really straightforward. The first thing you have to do is load your keywords into the software. Go to Google Keyword Tool and type in your seed keyword. We're going to use sandals again, and hit search. You have to be signed in to get better results. You have to make sure that the approximate cost per click column is checked. And for more accurate results, do an exact match search. Now that we have our keywords, we just sort them out by search volume. We're going to select just 50 keywords for this demo video. Then you have to download them, so select Download, select them, and choose CSV format. Not CSV for Excel, just CSV, and hit Download. Now that the file is on my computer, I will go back to the software, browse to the location where I saved it, and hit Open here. OK, so now the first part in doing the analysis is done. We have our keywords all loaded up in our software. Then you just hit Start, and it will begin the analyzing process. Let's go over each column. This one is your keyword. This one is your searches per month, exact match type. This one is your cost per click. Here is the number of competing pages when you type your keyword in quotes into Google. This one here is the real number of competing pages. I'll explain what this is inside the bonus report you receive with this software. And this is a more accurate competition number. This one here is your competing pages strength and is based on the real number of competing pages. This one here is the average page rank of the top 10 sites on Google. The software goes out and averages the top 10 sites and gives you an average. And this one here is the PR strength and is based on the average page rank. And here is the competition, the overall competition rating. The software takes this one here, the competing pages strength and the page rank strength and gives it a rating based on that. This one here is the commercial intent, and it tells you if the keyword has commercial intent or not. And this is the ad count. This is the number of ads showing up on the first page of Google. This will tell you if there are people making money with this keyword, because if they are spending money on it, they are making money for sure. Here is the overall keyword rating. The software takes into account whether the keyword has commercial intent or not, along with the competition ranking, and based on those parameters, gives the keyword an overall rating. It can be terrible, bad, good, great, and amazing. So, as you see, the software has already given us back some results. A good thing with the software is you can stop the analyzing process at any time. It will stop once it has finished analyzing the keyword it was working on. And you can save the project and come back to it later. Let's say you have something to do and you need to stop the process for now. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
I will save the project, put a name on it, Sandals, and then click OK. Then you can clear the list out and you can populate it again and start analyzing again. It will pick up where it left off. What I am going to do now is pause the video, let the software finish analyzing the whole list so we can move on with the training. OK, so now that the software has gone out and analyzed all the keywords, you can export all this data into a CSV file so you can add filters and manipulate the data in order to pick out the golden keywords. The software allows you to do this. You have to go here and click Export to CSV. I will name this file Sandals CSV and save it to my computer. Now I just go to the location where it was saved, and here's the data. All the data from the software is now in an Excel spreadsheet, easier to manipulate. So here you just add filters. I just want to see the amazing keywords, so I just select amazing and filter out all of these others. Here are the amazing keywords. You can now go out and do a little further investigation on these amazing keywords and then pick a winner. You have Choco Sandals Sale. That's a buyer keyword and it has a very low competition. Okay, so another cool thing about the software is it allows you to use proxies. Some people are familiar and like working with proxies, so I added the feature. To do that, let's clear out this list. We're going to open it up again, but without the analyzed data. You just hit Proxies here, and this window pops up. To add the proxies, you click Add. I have this list of private Level 1 proxies here. That's a recommendation I would give you. Always make sure you have only Level 1 proxies. If you use public proxies, they are most likely not going to work and you are going to get bad data from the software. So if you are going to add proxies, make sure you have at least private proxies and they are level 1 or level 2 proxies, so the software works properly. So now that I pasted in my proxies here, I hit OK and hit Close, and hit Start Analyzing. The software will confirm with you and tell you that there are proxies and you will have proxies in your proxy list and if you want to work with them. So you just hit Yes, and this way the software is a little bit faster analyzing. It will give you the same results, but it's a little faster. Those are all the functions of the software. And as you can see, it's a really simple software. The powerful thing about this software is the information it provides you. Information so that you can, with all confidence, go after a keyword and know that keyword will make you money. If you have any questions, you can contact me at my website. I will add all of my contact information inside a text file that you download along with this program. And now, let's see all the new features added to version 2.1. All the features I added to version 2.1 of Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer are based on user feedback, so I know you are really going to enjoy them. There are five new features. The first one is, you have the ability to choose between global monthly searches or local monthly searches. Before, the software would only load up the global searches. This was a very popular user request, so there it is. The next one is, now there is a short description when you hover over each column heading. This just reminds you of what each column is all about. 
The next exciting feature I added is now you have the ability to choose a country-specific Google to make your competition analysis. So as you see, when you select South Africa, it appears here and it will query google.ca and retrieve the competition information. This is another popular user request. The next feature I added is a counter down here. So you know that you are analyzing keyword 1 out of 50 and you can check on the progress of the software. The last feature I added is the ability to sort the results inside of Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer. So now you don't have to go and export the file to Excel or OpenOffice to sort it. You can sort it in here. So let's open a project that is already done. Say you want to sort it by keyword rating. You see all the amazing here and the greats, etc. All sorted into groups. Or you can sort it by competition level. You see all the very lows are here. And then the lows, etc. This will make the analyzing process easier for you. And now, let's go over the new features added in version 2.2. In this new version, I added two very useful features. The first one is the ability to check a keyword search string inside Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer. It's crucial to know if a keyword is getting popular or if the keyword is seasonal. That's why I added this feature. So to do that, we're going to open a project and you just select the number of keywords you want to check the trend for. In this case, we're going to select four and then just hit Trends. This will open a new window and just hit Start Check. Now Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer will go out and retrieve the trend graph from Google. Here you can see these keywords are real stable with a peak around December. So you can get an idea how these keywords run throughout the year. Okay, the second new feature I added was a very requested one, and it is the ability to check for a domain name availability. To do that, we're going to select some new keywords, but this time we're going to see if we can find a domain name of our amazing keywords. So we're going to choose this one, and this one, because they have nice search volume, and this one. Now that you have selected the keywords that you want to check for domain name, you just hit Domain and then here Start Check. Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer will go out and check if there's a domain available for your keywords. In this case, we can see that we've already found some available domain names for your keywords with nice search volume. Okay, so that's the second new feature. And now, let's go over all the new features added in version 2.3.1. I added four new features in this version. The first one is a new column, as you can see right here, called Keyword Value. It is a formula I use to determine the monetary value of ranking in the top three positions in Google. It gives me a good idea and a nice extra parameter when deciding between two amazing keywords. So for instance, one amazing keyword has a higher keyword value than the other. I would choose the one with the higher value. The second new feature I added is the ability here inside Settings, if your country is not listed here, you can add it inside Custom. So let's say for example you want to do your analysis inside of Google Italy. You can add it here and that's it. Hit OK. Now you can run your competition analysis inside of Google Italy. This was a very requested new feature, so there it is. The most exciting feature, at least for me in this new version of Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer, is now the software has the ability to auto-update itself. 
So each time I make a new adjustment or fix something, or Google makes some new changes, you don't need to download a file and go through an installation process. Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer will auto-update itself, so this way it will be less hassle for you. And the last new feature of this version is now you can add proxies with username and password. A lot of users have asked me for this, so now you can use username password proxies. That's it. These are the new features of Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer. I will always keep updating the software to make it easier for you, more user friendly, and more accurate. Before I end this video, I want to remind you to please read the Cutting Edge Keyword Research Report the one that came as a bonus with this software. Information contained within this report will turn you into a keyword research master. When you combine what's in the report with the results from Stealth Keyword Competition Analyzer, you can almost guarantee 100% results. So please don't pass it by just because it was free. And thank you for your time.